Now while doing this, since these are very small fields and the forces are very very small, so the earth's magnetism should be eliminated while doing this measurement, right? So, so the first precaution that we should take is that the earth's magnetism has to be taken into account. Earth's magnetism should be factored in then that 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 magnitude of the magnetic field at that point that will have that will create its own force so what is the best way to do what do you do to nullify the effect of the current of the earth's magnetic field you'll be able to to get the direction as direction of the magnetic field at a given point and you align your wires parallel to that direction so what happens that magnetic field will have no effect on your forces right so 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 you align the wires parallel to the magnetic field To the magnetic field, right? Earth magnetic field. Earth magnetic field, yeah. To the magnetic field of the Earth. Of the Earth. Right? Now, once you have defined one ampere, you can also define one coulomb. So, what is one coulomb? There will be one ampere for definition of one coulomb is what it is that amount of charge, the amount of charge that flows of charge, amount of charge, C, right? Charge that flows. across the cross section of a conductor or across the cross section of a conductor when it is carrying when it is carrying a current of current of 1 ampere of a, of a conductor in 1 second, right, in 1 second. Why? Because we have been defining the current, instantaneous current as dq upon dt, right. So, so, so dq is nothing but i into dt and if, if, if this is 1 and this is 1 then this is bound to be 1 okay so 1 ampere into 1 second is 1 coulomb right 